Andrea Bolinelli is happy to hear more British Columbians may soon have better access to a family doctor. It's always hard because I have an older son that he was having some uh, issues this past month and I have to run with him to the hospital instead to the walking clinic because there is no one available to, to get him in. Dr. Rene Fernandez says the province's new funding plan will go towards what's called longitudinal care, giving patients long-term care with the same doctor. Well, we know that having a family doctor that knows not only your medical health, but the circumstances of your life has been shown to have better health outcomes for patients, lower costs for the system, and ultimately a better experience of care for everyone. If family doctors choose the new system, starting in February, they will be paid based on the number of patients they see in a day, the time spent with each, and the complexity of the patient's issues. Right now, they earn $30 to $40 a visit, regardless of the patient's needs. I'm delighted that they are going to get more for more complicated issues. Hi, it's Dr. Fernandez. Out of 6,800 family doctors in B.C., mm -hmm. Fernandez says less than half of them are able to provide it under the current system. If someone comes in to see me and I have to tell them that they have a life-changing diagnosis, I'm not rushing them through in 10 or 15 minutes. And, and, but that means that I'm running behind and I'm actually not making enough to keep that clinic afloat as a result of it. But now they won't have to do that anymore. It's really a, a monumental shift. Uh, acknowledging that, that primary care is important. Another change is how patients will be matched up with doctors through a rostering system. It's to match people to physicians who are geographically close to them, perhaps speak the same language as them, or perhaps are, are a particular gender if, if there is a, as an example, if, if a woman wants to see a female physician. Fernandez adds it will allow family doctors to hire more staff, handle rising costs, and hopefully entice more physicians to practice family medicine. Janella Hamilton, CBC News, Vancouver.